Brian, why do you think James Paxton had difficulty putting hitters away tonight? I don't know. It seemed like, you know, <clears throat> you know, he didn't have quite his, his velocity tick up yet. Um, but I thought in the first inning, I thought he, he was really good with his cutter and his curveball. He threw some really good ones. And then it, everything just kind of started to flatten out by the end of the inning, um, that inning, uh, the line out to end the inning. And then, uh, and then it, it, it just seemed to really flatten out the entire second inning. And um, they had a lot of good looks on him. So I have to look and see if he came out of, out of the mechanics a little bit, but I, I thought it just got a little flat on him there in the second. You mentioned the velocity, averaged 91.8 miles an hour tonight on his fastball. That's the lowest of any start in his career. Are you alarmed by that? I'm not, a, I'm not alarmed. I, I, I feel like physically he is sound. I think it's just a matter of really getting his, his delivery and, and finding that click where he's really extending through the ball. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of what he's been searching for here, here these last few weeks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Brendan Cuddy, please unmute. What did you think of Stan and Hicks kneeling for the anthem? Um, you know, I'm, I'm totally supportive of their um, decision to do that. And, uh, you know, I, I know it was heavy on their heart. And um, um, I, I support, you know, their, their right to do that and, and, that it was, you know, very well thought out and, and something important to him. A lot of the team wasn't on the field for the anthem. Was, do you think that was related to uh, them deciding to kneel? And was that a conversation you guys had no. in the pregame? No, I don't think it was related to that at all. I mean, a lot of times our hitters are under night getting their final things ready. So um, a lot of times it's sparingly at that time. Thank you. Yeah. Go to Ken Davidoff. Hey, uh, Aaron. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I want to show my face. Um, uh, just John Carlos, an another monster night at the plate, and and what did you see there, and how encouraged are you by that? Yeah, he looks great. I mean, you know, I, I feel like he's just so in such a good frame of mind. I think he feels great physically. Um, and then he's putting together a really good game plan and, and getting himself into some good counts. And, you know, you know, even his first AB, you know, he just got it on the ground right to the guy. But I felt like it was a really good, really good at bat, really good swing. Then obviously he gets the 3-0 pitch and, you know, hits it about as hard as he possibly can. But really excited about where he's at right now. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. Take the next one from George King. Aaron, you said before the game you might not play LeMahieu the whole way. Um, mm -hmm. He got he got banged up a little bit at second base in a double play. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. That it, that had nothing to do with it. It was just you know some long innings out there. I was kind of thinking five or six for him, and then I was considering holding them for that next at bat. But I just felt like with the long innings and and really wanting to play him tomorrow, um, you know, I, I thought it was the right thing to get him out of there at that time. Take the next one from Christy Ackert. Hey, Aaron, I'm just curious. We we didn't see Paxton playing any exhibition games, so obviously we didn't see a radar gun on him before. Has he reached his previous velocity in this time before, or is this just something that's building up from the surgery, perhaps? Yeah, um, no, he's he's kind of been in that 91, 2, 3, some 4s uh, routinely. So. Um, I think it's just a matter of finding that next gear and, and we'll continue to work with him to get there. I, I, I do feel like he's very close, um, you know, as he kind of talks about it, just getting really timed up where he really clicks it out front. And uh, hopefully from there, it'll take off. And how does this affect your plans for tomorrow with your pitching? I um, feel like we're in pretty good shape. We're going to go through some things and, um, you know, figure how we want to go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go back to Meredith. Michael King came in in a pretty tough situation. I, I know he didn't necessarily finish as strong as he probably would have liked, but overall, what was your impression of him first time seeing him? Uh, I, thought he pitched, I thought he pitched great. 
you know, the, you know, um, you know, he gives up the bloop double or the bloop single down the left field line. And then Robles, I feel like hit a pretty good pitch on him. He actually got it in on him, tied him up. You know, sometimes you tip your cap, just a better swing to be able to not only get to it, but keep it fair by Robles there. Really the one mistake I thought he made was the two strike hanging breaking ball to uh, Howie Kendrick. Otherwise, you know, we continue to be really encouraged by what we see from Michael. You know, I mean, I, I think in a lot of ways he picked up where he left off in the exhibition game when you really break down how he threw the ball today.